Hey guys, what's going on? Remy Sovereign here. So today we're back at the drawing board and we're going to be talking about cortisol injections and how they specifically relate to someone that may be suffering from a disc bulge. So I'm going to share with you guys today my thoughts, my opinions, and some of the things that I've learned about cortisol over the past two years. So for those of you that don't know, I had suffered a disc bulge about, uh, about two years ago, or about a year and a half to two years ago, and actually about a few months ago, back in January, I was actually recommended to get a cortisol shot. But however, I didn't agree to go through with it just because of the things that, that I learned about cortisol and, if it's, and its effects. And which I'll explain kind of later into the video, um, some of the effects of cortisol and how it works. So without further ado, we'll begin by talking about cortisol. So what is cortisol? Cortisol, it is a naturally occurring steroid hormone in our body that is produced by the adrenal cortex. And it's important in the metabolism of our fats, proteins, and carbohydrates as well as it's important in and our salt and water balance, and it's also important in reducing inflammation, and this is what provides pain relief. So cortisol, what ends up happening is that when we undergo trauma, our body will increase the production of cortisol in response to that trauma or injury, and it'll try to basically reduce that inflammation or reduce the stress. So once that stress is basically gone, or relieved, or that, or that trauma or injury is gone, the cortisol levels will, will turn to normal. So now we have synthetic cortisol, which is basically cortisol that is produced uh, outside of our body. It's not produced naturally, but it's very similar to this, the cortisol that is produced in our body. And synthetic cortisol is often given to individuals that may be suffering from sort of, some sort of trauma or injury in, uh, within their body to basically provide uh, pain relief. Now, when we specifically talk about an injury with a, uh, someone with an injury such as a disc bulge, individuals may be given a synthetic cortisol injection. If you were to take, let's say, their like L5, L5-S1 disc bulge, the cortisol will be injected directly into the spinal canal where that L5-S1 disc bulge is to basically provide pain relief and reduce the inflammation. The only problem with these cortisol injections is that they're only providing temporary pain relief. They're not actually healing the injury. And what ends up happening is a lot of people think that once they get these injections, and they start feeling fine and they don't feel any pain, they'll start doing movements that they shouldn't be doing and they're basically only creating more stress within that region and, and they're gonna basically create more inflammation, more pain is gonna be created over time and therefore they might need to get another cortisol injection. And this basically becomes problematic because now once you get multiple cortisol injections, there could be side effects that are occurring such as breakdown of cartilage, brittle bones, or potentially infect, infection. Now the one thing with cortisol though is basically it's a very powerful anti-inflammatory drug. It's a lot more powerful than your typical uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like uh, ibuprofen or Advil's. The reason being is because cortisol has a longer lasting effect. So the effect may last weeks, months, or even years. It all depends on the individual. So it varies from individual to individual. The only thing is though is that cortisol is not actually healing the injury. So that's a thing, that's something to keep in mind. So an individual could just basically stick to their non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs to basically provide pain relief when needed, which is what I did in my case, and that's all I needed. I didn't have to go through any invasive, invasive approaches. Now, the one thing though to keep in mind though, with a cortisol injection is that it actually could potentially help in the healing process in one specific way. So the way it could help in the healing process is that, let's say we have an individual spine here. So there's uh, their disc, their vertebral bodies in between, and We'll say they have a L4, L5 disc bulge right here that they're suffering from. So they're given an injection. So we'll say they're given the injection right into the, into the area, into the spinal canal. And what ends up happening is that there's all this edema that is built up from the inflammation here. Or let's say, and what happens is when this injection comes in, this cortisol, it's going to remove all this edema, it's going to break it all up, and it's going to remove any chemical proteins within that area. And therefore, the disc that may be bulging, it, it could potentially create some room for the disc to go back into place. Now, the only way this would work, though, is if it's basically accompanied with a rehab program, such as like a physical therapy, therapy program where the individual may be engaging in different exercises or like spinal traction. And I think one of the problems is a lot of people in society, they're really aware of how cortisol works in these injections. And, Sometimes the doctors will just recommend them to the individual, but they don't actually know what they're getting themselves into. So it's, I think this is kind of the main reason why I wanted to create this video, 
just to kind of educate people about how cortisol works and if any individual was going to get a cortisol injection, they could kind of understand the process and how it kind of works. Okay guys, so yeah, one of the main reasons why I didn't get the cortisol injection, why I didn't go through it was because it only provides temporary pain relief. It's not actually healing the injury and it's also, an inv it's also invasive. So they're basically sticking a big needle like into your back and then basically releasing the cortisol. And also because there's some side effects that may be associated with the cortisol, with cortisol being injected into our body. And it's best to kind of just use this more of as a, a second option or, or last resort if an individual is suffering maybe from severe pain. That's just kind of my opinion and what I went through. So I just basically stuck to non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like Advil or ibuprofen. I took those when needed instead of just getting an injection. So yeah, that's it guys. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and were able to learn something about cortisol or cortisol injections. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'd be happy to answer it. And also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Take care guys.